So this is an 84 model MR2. The bonnet we're using is off a late model supercharged car. These panels here and the radiator support is off an 88 model car. And this lip is from a company in New Zealand and none of it fits together. Morning guys, all right, so a couple of episodes ago, I showed you this car fully together, kind of. Um, I loosely bolted everything together. However, this morning I went through and I bolted all this in properly and I found a lot of problems. So a lot of the bits I had cut out and welded in didn't line up, so I had to bend them all into shape. Uh, pretty much every thread was uh, rusted or just corroded. So I had to run pretty much, if you've ever worked in Japanese cars, uh, most of the little bolts are all 10 mil head and an M6 thread. And I had to go through and tap every single one of those M6 threads all the way through here. There was about 30 of them. But now they all work. So, you know, you take the time and you make it work. So now I have to try and make this fit. So I've got all this seated properly. However, these were never designed for this car. So there was nowhere to actually bolt them up. So I'm going to have to design up some brackets here to make these sit properly. And once I've got them sitting properly, we can have a look at making this fit. It's actually not too bad, luckily. But uh, yeah, we'll weld up some plates and we'll get these sitting right because there's nowhere to bolt this to, like they're just flapping around the wind. So we'll get them sitting right and then we can look at how we can mount this thing. So these ones should be pretty easy. There's a uh, nut, where there's a thread there and then we've got a crash bar here. And we'll just make up a little plate. We'll go between there and there. Pretty much there. Got to press record. Anyway, one tack's in. Can't see a damn thing because the light's behind me, but uh, yeah, we'll make that work. Not the prettiest welds I've ever done, it'll do a job. So those are in now, which is good. I haven't tightened this one up yet, but I need that flexibility. Not bad. Okay, so now we'll get this lip taped on, find out where it's gonna sit. We're gonna figure out how to make that lip stay on the car. Okay, so it's actually sitting really well there. You can see like the lines, freaking good. This just needs to be bolted down. It's trying to pop out, but along here, it's pretty good. This is all equal distance, both sides. So I'm happy with that. What I've measured from is the lip up to that line there, because that line's pretty stable and it's bang on both sides. But you can see a gap here, so I am gonna have to bend those out, which isn't a huge deal. Um, yeah, wow. I think we're onto something here, guys. So I think the first thing I wanna do is drill into here. This is where it joins up to the quarter, not the fender. So there's a metal bit there, we'll drill through, put a nut bolt through there by sides, and then that'll hold it in place. And then we can work out how to secure the rest of it. Ooh, 
I hated that. Okay. All right, I've got a fancy bolt and washer there. That washer might be a bit big. I've got some smaller ones too we can use. I think it's gonna be all right. So around the lip here, so on the side skirts, factory side skirts, there's like a rubber gasket, a seal. It goes the whole way along. And that's factory from the car. It actually looks pretty good. It's very 80s. So I've actually got some extra stuff and I'm gonna run it around here too. So it matches the side skirts, but also hides the fitment a little bit. It's not a bad thing. So we're gonna do that, which will be good. All right, let's see how I can make the rest of this lip stay where it's supposed to. Okay, so we're under the car, looking up at the lip, if that makes sense. What I think I wanna do, I've been under here for a good 10 minutes just Laying here thinking, so we've got these holes here in these side panels. And this is fairly sturdy, so what I think I want to do is I want to make a plate that goes from there down with a, a fold that goes in there, and then I can run two nice um, countersunk big washers there and a plate up here, and I can just bead roll like an X or something in that just to strengthen it up. But if that's attached to that, that's going to make that whole lip really stable. Now, I was thinking about fiberglassing some standoffs like onto here and then through here and bolting it on, um, which would also work, but I really hate fiberglassing and I think this will work just as well. Like it's gonna hold it in place really nicely. So we do that, that side and that side, that's gonna like, that would almost be enough to hold this together. However, what I think I wanna do is, um, so here we've got the bottom of the radiator support and that's part of the chassis, I can't change that. So what I think I wanna do is make it like a big plate that goes from there to the lip, you know, about that big. Um, and then once again, we'll go under the lip and we can bolt through that. Um, and that'll make a bit of an under tray, like a bit of a shield for a lot of the junk under here. Now I've got to make sure, we we'll have to put the air conditioning lines in because the aircon lines come under here. So I've got to make sure they're not in the way. But even if I made it from, you know, there to there, just a nice plate to kind of guard a bit of the stuff up there, but just it'll hold it on so nicely. Um, and then we can use the bead roller, it has some bead rolls and patterns in it and make it a bit sexy. I reckon that could work really well, and that would be so sturdy, it'd be brilliant. So, you know, when I take it out on track, if I, you know, this with the engine I'm planning for this thing, it should do 200 mile an hour, uh, 200 mile an hour, bloody hell. Not get excited, 200 kilometers per hour, you know, down the straight of Phillip Island and stuff like that. So, I really want to. Make sure this lip's secure. I think by doing that, we're going to be onto something. And then I might do another one uh, over this side, just a vertical one to hold that. But yeah, look, I think that's going to work. So we'll get the old uh, CAD work out, the cardboard aided design, and uh, see what we can come up with. But it's working. It's going to need some trimming. Like if you have a look here on this corner. Um, like the fiberglass needs a bit of a trim back with the tool just to make that sit flusher. Um, yeah, look, it's it's not perfect, but it's gonna look pretty good. I'm, yeah, I'm safe from the outside. It's gonna look freaking amazing. So we'll just make it nice and strong. Should work. All right, let's get the cardboard out. Well, luckily, my four-year-old just started eating cocoa pops, so I have a big cocoa pops thing to uh, use as templates. All right, so I've decided. Uh, whereas, okay, this here, sorry this is hard camera guys, so this here is the stock plastic under tray that kind of sort of fits here, but it's pretty shit and pretty buggy. So, piss that off, and instead of that going up to here, as I said, I'm going to do it down to here, but we'll use those stock mounting holes. Now the stock holes have little plastic um, inserts and then self-tapping screws, won't be doing that, I'll be using nuts and bolts, because, you know, strength and we can. So now, I'm going to do the worst filming in the world and we're going to design up a plate <laughs> to fit there somehow. <sighs> Shit, I'll put the camera down, bear with me. Alright, can you see? Probably not. Cool. Alright, where's my pen? Let's figure this out. Okay, I've got a... Rough plan, it's basically just a rectangle. 
But uh, yeah, got one fold there, one fold there. And then we'll do some stuff in the middle and see what we come up with. So I'm going to put it on 0.8mm because I've got a big sheet of that. So we'll cut that out first. And then go to the folder, get the folds right. And then the bead roller, see what we can do with that. Alright, let's cut the sucker out. Okay, I've got like two thirds of a plan. It's barely a plan. Um, I'm kind of gonna do like two raised sections. I don't know, I just wanna make it a bit stronger and make it look a bit sexy. I've never really done this before. So I could do all sorts of complex shapes, but if I don't know how to do it, I'll probably just stuff it up. So anyway, we've got the bead roller out and we'll, we'll see if that works. Can you guys see that? That's pretty cool. Nice. Sweet, okay, I've marked up some basic crosses. So I'm gonna do like a full length bead there and then just like a one that doesn't fully cross over there because it, it doesn't really work if you try and cross it, but it'll kind of look like a cross in there. And I'll put the bead so that the actual bead's gonna go up, so it'll penetrate upwards, which should look pretty cool. Um, why am I doing all this? You know, I literally could just bend up a piece of angle bar from Bunnings and it would work 100% fine and stay on there for years. But what is the point of building your dream car and doing it half ass? Like, this car, I, I literally think about driving it every night. I'm so excited to have this thing finished and driving. So why wouldn't I make a nice cool thing like this and get to use cool tools and enjoy the whole process? Not just the car, it's the process. Anyway. Enough about me jabbering on about this crap, let's give this a go. Okay, there we go. That one went a little bit on the piss, but uh, I reckon that's pretty cool. It's hard to see with all the marks and stuff in it, but when we paint it up, it'll look sick. So, we'll uh, shit, move the windscreen, because at the moment the windscreen is in front of the metal folder. I do not want to damage that thing, because they are expensive. And, uh, We'll fold some lines in that, give it a clean up, trim some corners around, drill some holes, and we're good to go, Gary. Oops, forgot to press record. Okay, done that. So that's going to be the lip. We need to bend that one up to fit on the um, spork for the radiator. Let's do that one. Bloody close. Awesome. Okay, let's uh, try this puppy in here. What am I doing? That way. Let's let all these holes line up. We can use our very sexy washers. As I said, I've had a couple of different types of these, but. Uh, and I'll probably need to run a, a washer in between two because there's kind of that step there. That is freaking sick. Look at that. 15 mil. Mm, fiberglass, yummy. Okay, so all kind of loosely bolted in. 
I reckon that is pretty freaking sick. So obviously still need to do these supports here, but if I do those and combine with that, it's gonna be freaking awesome. Um, yeah, unfortunately, at the end of the day, I've gotta go and pick up the kids from daycare. So um, that's a good start. At least we've got it kind of mounted. We've got that on there, which is great. And then we're just gonna make up those. And honestly, these will be pretty simple. They're not gonna be, I'm not gonna make them as exciting as this. Just basically some sheet brackets that come down, do a couple of bolts here, bolts to there, and just hold it in place. And that'll be freaking awesome. And then we can look at doing the grill. All right, I'll check back with you, uh, I guess next Friday. Next day I'll have to do this. See you then. Hey gang, well it's Monday and I've got a few hours. So I'm just gonna get a few things done. I have done this off camera. Let's get under the car. Now our plate here, I have actually put, see this little fold here? So I've bent it up because there's, you can see there, there's the fold in the bar. So I've actually bent that bar up, just put a bead fold in there and that sits much nicer now. Plus on the back side of these, and if you can see, I have welded some captive nuts. So there's captive nuts on all those. I just need to extend this hole a bit to make that fit. But yeah, there's captive nuts. So they just screw in so you don't have to get a spanner on the back of those. So. That's nice, and as you can see, I gave it a coat of paint. So it still needs to be repainted now I've welded it. But anyway, now I'm working on these brackets here. So. I made up a basic CAD template. I've got our two squares there, so we'll cut them out. And then, yeah, pretty much I just need to put a fold in them like this, but I'll actually put a couple of beads in it too, cause you know, we got the bead roller and it turned out well on the other one. So let's cut those out and um, yeah, make up these panels and that'll be the front bar secure. There we go, couple little beads, should strengthen it up. Put some folds in it. Okay, here we go. I've trimmed it down a bit more, but uh, that's pretty much how it's going to sit. So I need to do a couple of holes here, and I'm going to. I've marked up the holes here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld captive nuts on the back, so we can just do a couple of short bolts, and that should make that sit nicely. But that'll do the job nicely. So we we'll do this side, measure everything up, and then copy it over this side so it sits at exactly the same level. So then the bars. Uh, level. All right, let's mark this, drill this, do all this stuff. Alrighty, so uh, that's all I've got time for today, but that's done. So that works out pretty good. So we've got a nice little uh, bolts and washers under there. That bolts up to there, and this is now, like that is solid as, that is so good. So I've just got to do another one of those on the other side. As I said, we'll measure it to make sure this is adjusted to the right height. Um, and then I've just got to sort of do a bit of trimming around here. I'm going to do another bolt through here just to make that all sit properly. And that's pretty much the front lip secure. Then we can make our grill. But we'll do that on Friday. Alrighty, we're back. It's Friday afternoon. This is the reality of building this car at the moment. Is if I get a few hours, I just get into it and get it done. Otherwise, we're not going to make that autumn deadline. Um, cool. So we've got the plate in the right hand side. We've got the big plate in the middle. And now I've made this plate for the left hand side. So. I've already tack welded in some nuts for the top, I believe it was. Uh, and now we are just got a double measure. So I've already measured this up and you can see I've got a jack with a block of wood just to make sure it's all lined up. So I obviously don't want it to be on the piss. Um, so I'm just gonna give it another measure. I'm gonna bolt that plate in and make sure it's all lined up and then drill the other holes. And then I can weld some captive nuts in this and then we can take these plates off, paint it all and look at designing this uh, bottom section so we can hold our mesh grill in there to make it look a bit nicer. 
All right, let's have a measure and make sure we're sitting straight. Okay, so there's a couple more things I need to do now. You can see here, we've got a nice big gap. So I need to bend this section out. This is all new bits that I've made, so it's just not sitting right. So we're gonna bend that out. And you can see where this sits. I need to cut into here a little bit to make that shape from the lip, uh, from the uh, quarter, sorry, the fender. I need to do it on the other side too. So I've got a little tool and we'll trim that back. And we might give this a whack with a big nylon hammer, see if we can get this looking straighter. Let's trim these bits on the edge here. So I need to trim these little bits up here, just so it fits a bit better. We'll bend that bit out too. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how that's all sitting now. Um, I mean, the edges where it joins up is not bad. It's never gonna be perfect. It's an aftermarket lip. I think I'm doing all right, but that's good. Okay, so now I need to drill the other holes. So I wanna have two holes either sides, holding that on, and that's gonna make it nice and secure. And then I'll have a crack at this strip. I really don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. We'll uh, just have to wing it. So a bit of measuring and thinking, and I've kind of got this plate sort of designed up so I'm going to cut this out and run a fold along the edge with the bead roller just to strengthen it and now I'm going to have a support come out I kind of drew it up the wrong way I need a support come out this way honestly I'm just tired I can't be bothered doing up another one so I'll just tack a support on there you won't see any of it it's all under the car um, yeah so we'll cut this out run a bead through it drill some holes make this happen I want to get this done Okay, something like that, so it's gonna line up with that and that. Sorry friends, I've skipped ahead. I really just don't feel like filming today. I just wanna get stuff done and things have not worked out the way I wanted to today. Like dropping things. Anyway, so this is the support bar. So it's okay, it's, it's a bit shitty to be honest, but it's gonna be hidden. Um, it'll do the trick. So I'll show you where that goes. So that will go here, it bolts up to those two pieces. And up there. Uh, no, this way around, that way around. Like that. And what that'll do is that gives somewhere for the uh, aluminium mesh I've got to bolt to. So we'll put mesh up here, just so it's a nice finish. And that gives something, so I'm basically gonna do um, rev nuts or something up here for the mesh to uh, bolt to there and then this will be the bottom section for it to bolt to um, Yeah, so look it's it's okay. We've got that big panel that covers this <laughs> Thankfully because this is a bit shit So this is the alloy mesh that I got Gonna straighten it without kinking it All right So that in there Okay, and there we go. There's the grill sitting in there. It's kind of where I want it to be actually. So all I've got to do now is, um, there's our support, is just drill some holes and then I can actually bolt that to this and that'll keep it secure. And then when I take all this off for paint, I can put some um, nut certs in the crash bar and it'll bolt to that and that's it. Uh, other than that, I just need to make these pieces here. So I'm gonna to have to design a 3D print some bits there. I'm really not too sure how that's gonna turn out yet, but. I think that's for another time. Alrighty, so that's that front bar pretty much on. We've got the screws on the side, we've got the big plate in the middle, we've got the two plates there, and we've got the plate that holds the grill in, and we just need to put those lug nuts, the nut certs and stuff in, but other than that, that's kind of ready for paint and prep now, which is great. 
Um, sorry I didn't film a lot today. As I said, not every day you feel like filming everything. It's just, um, it's been a week and I'm tired and I just want to get stuff done. Anyway, on a positive note, we are very close to painting this thing. I actually had a paint booth rock up yesterday. So it's a um, Chinese tent, like a marquee, but I've used one before and it works really well and they're cheap. So we're gonna set that up on the big grass area next to the shed and we're gonna use that to spray it. But first I need to prep everything for paint. We're gonna to have to do some filler, obviously, um, but I've got to sand down all the panel, all the bumpers. There's gonna be a lot of prep and I'm gonna time lapse a lot of it, but I will show you the prep and show you a bit of uh, the filler and all that sort of stuff. So. It's exciting. I'm very excited to show you the color I want to paint this thing. Hopefully I can pull it off because it's a very cool color. And then we can actually finally start putting this thing back together because once I've done paint, I can put stuff in and it'll stay there forever. I can put a fuel tank in, that's staying there. I can put all the brake lines in, new brake lines, they're staying in, all that stuff. Pretty much everything in the front I can do. Like I don't have the engine in a box yet, but everything up to the back windscreen, that's staying in there forever, which is very cool. All right, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next episode.